Hey, this is Sam X. Welcome back to Let's Play Baller's Gate. I know it's been months since I played this game. I really apologize for that. I mostly just got pretty burned out. I was playing the game for months before I even uh, started trying to do a YouTube channel. And it just... Yeah, just... The drag was real. The fight was real. But it's been months, and I'm kind of ready just for a new, fresh game. Um, as discussed in the forums on ETI, um... Definitely want to be a halfling, the best race. Halfling zone. Minus one strength doesn't own, but they're fun. It's a fun race. Um, it's a shame they don't get more racial choices now as discussed. I'll be doing a pure thief kit. There will be no dual classing. Um, I was really torn between these three, honestly. Um, assassin, probably very overpowered at the beginning of the game because of poison weapon. The backstab multiplier times 7, that sounds really good, but by the time you get to that multiplier, most stuff is immune to backstab. Plus one hit and damage rolls just kind of helps make being a thief less painful. Um, now, this poison weapon got a huge nerf, and it really didn't deserve it for the assassin kit. The problem on why it got nerfed is that the blackguard kit literally also uses the same weapon poison. Weapon poison on a fighter class is way stronger than a poison on a thief class in terms of APR and all, all sorts of things. They nerfed both, which is really kind of sad. It kind of really crippled this class. Um, before, it used to stack multiple times per second, so if you had a fast weapon like darts and you used weapon poison, targets are going to get hit really hard with this poison. It's very powerful. They nerfed it so it can only work once per round per target. It's very not very good. Considering that, you're probably going to miss a ton. Um, this is the main reason I actually don't want to be an assassin. 15 points per level. It's true that end game skill points really don't matter because you'll have enough by then, but early game, you just don't really even feel like you're playing a thief. Um, Bounty Hunter is pretty cool. Their trap is very strong throughout most of the game. It gets incredibly weak. This is a stupid spell. And then 21st level, an instant maze trap. Now, the... Uh, Bounty Hunter's snares are work differently in Baldur's Gate 1 and Baldur's Gate 2, and I think it's just due to a glitch in the Enhanced Edition's code or something. In Baldur's Gate 2, you can actually throw these at enemies. They, you can't be seeing them, but if you throw it into the, like, the shadows or something, yeah, you can lay that trap. In Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition, just the first one, you actually have to lay it down like a normal trap, which really makes this not as good. Um, 20 thieving points per level is decent. It's not a big deal. Now, Swashbuckler, in my opinion, is closer to a pure thief. Sure, they don't backstab, which is sad, because everyone likes to see backstab with triple damage and the chunks of meat flying everywhere. But the Swashbuckler scales incredibly well, and this armor AC thing actually can make them a tank endgame. Um, three points into two weapon style. While this sounds really good, it's actually really painful to get your, your style up here, and you're pretty much going to have to be... Um, patient with that. Now, for alignment, I'm just going to go for um, get a good. Why am I going a good alignment? A, use any item that allows me to wear evil armor anyway, so who cares? But, with a good alignment, I can use Dritt Scimitars early on. Yes, I'm going to be going for Dritt Scimitars. I know that's a greed play, but worst case scenario is if I cannot get that, I'm still in good shape. Why? Because there's a couple plus two scimitars lying around in the first game, meaning I can probably dual wield them by the end. And while it's not as strong as the cold longsword or even the poison dagger, it works. Now, I'm not going to spend too much time rolling. A, it's kind of boring, and B, I really don't need a ton of max stats. The only skills I really need to max are dex, strength, constitution, and charisma. Charisma is optional. I would like at least 9 intelligence, because even with use any item, you will not be able to read your scroll if you are below 9 intelligence. Use any item, but you still have to meet the statistic requirements for it, which is frustrating. I once had a Thief playthrough where I didn't have enough intelligence to use any item on the scrolls. Oh, I just lost the 92! And the 88. I'm sorry, I'm really tired right now. I've been... I work all day. Uh, I worked for a while today. Um, I got to work around 7.30, got out, got out around 5. It's kind of a longer day at work because we're back from spring break. Plus, I'm trying to eat healthier and exercise more. I just did a one-hour nature walk, and I'm so out of shape that that, for some reason, really winded me. Not winded, but my legs hurt. I need to sit down for a while. My phone rang, and I just didn't even want to get up and answer it. 
That's how out of shape I am. A dad bod without the dad. I lost a 92. That's so sad, and I wasn't even going that fast. I just wasn't paying attention. I'm not going to see something like that again, because I'm probably not going to spend too much time on this. I think just mentally doing the math, I'd kind of like to get an 89, or better yet, a 90. Everything above that is really just kind of for show. Dax achieved. Um... I might just end up with an 87. 87 does get me all the stats I'm going to. It's, it's not a perfect build, of course, by any means. But I'm filming. I could cut the camera and roll, but I feel like that's a little cheap. Now, if this was just a single player game, or I was playing Icewind Dale, yeah, I'd probably be rolling the heck out of this. But, you know, I think it adds to the challenge to not have godlike stats. Icewind Dale, yes, you need min-max stats. There's just no reason to not have that. That's a harder game. I'm probably just going to roll for another minute. Anyway, like I was saying, yada yada yada. I'm tired, I'm fat, I'm a dad bod, and I'm playing Baldur's Gate for the first time in months. I'm probably going to be rusty. I wonder if my hotkeys are still set. I bet they are. I'm probably going to take this 87. So, the rolls I lost that were higher were an 88, which is no big deal. And the 92, which is... yuck. At least it wasn't something like a 100 on a thief. I probably would have, like, just cut off the video and broke my computer or something. I've only seen a... 100 once. If you remember, that was my Icewind Dale topic. That was literally like my fifth mouse click or something as a paladin. And the crappy part was, is because it's Icewind Dale, I couldn't take it because I wanted perfect 18 slash 0 0 strength. Alright, I'm going to take this 87. I'm impatient. Alright, wisdom can be a two. Int, let's make it a 9 for now. Definitely need to max that. Maxing constitution, of course, is not a must if you're um, playing a thief, but if you're a shorty, you need it maxed. I'm going to set this to 10. It'll go to 11 once I get the book. 11 uh, gives me two hits against my players, which is important. I'm putting a little into wisdom just for I hate having to stat it too. Alright, skills. Ooh, like I said, going scimitar. Why did I put two into this? You can go instant dual wield. But you're gonna miss a lot. It, in my opinion, just suck it up, use a single weapon for a while. It's not the too long feeds level up fast. And then you can go into two weapon. Uh, my skill points. Open lock, I think I needed at 60 to get the candle keep items. Uh, find traps. Let's go for Detect Illusion. I like to get this as soon as possible, that way your image and stuff like that can just go away. My favorite part about the Enhanced Edition is that you just get all these cool colors. I know it sounds lame, but... There's just something nice about having all these colors, which they should have allowed you to do since the first game, because the colors were programmed in. But I think. I don't know about all of them, but most of them. My facial hair actually gr uh, grows out red. It's very uh, sad. I have to constantly shave. I'm not a ginger. Um. Nestled atop. All right. Um. This is actually a good stopping point. I'm gonna stop this here. This has been Sam X on episode one of Let's Play Baldur's Gate. See you next episode.